In this lesson, I'd like to show you how you can utilize master pages inside of InDesign CS5 to work more efficiently and to make it easier to build longer documents with consistency. To begin, I'm going to go to the File menu and I'm going to choose New Document. Now, one thing I'm going to point out right here is that you'll notice my width and height and other attributes are using the PICA unit of measurement. If you don't work in PICAs and you'd rather work in inches, what you'll want to do is click the Cancel button and go to the InDesign menu on Mac or the Edit menu on Windows and choose Preferences, Units and Increments. And in the Horizontal and Vertical Ruler Units, I'm going to change this to Inches. And I'm going to click OK. Now, when I go to the File menu and choose New Document, you'll notice that your unit of measurement is set to inches. The important thing to remember here is that we did this with no document open and therefore that preference change will apply to all new documents that we create inside of InDesign CS5. So now that we're in here I'm going to make sure that my intent is set to print and I'm going to come down here to the width field and I'm going to change the width to 8.125 and the height to 10.625. In addition in the margins category, I'm going to set them all to a half inch to begin. Then I'm going to uncheck this make all settings the same button and set the bottom to three quarters of an inch. In the bleed area, and if you don't see this area, you want to make sure that you click on the more options button. I'm going to set the top, bottom, and outside to an eighth of an inch but the inside I'm going to set to zero because we're not going to have any bleed on the inside of the page. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to click the Save Preset button and I'm going to call this Preset Newsletter. When I click OK, you'll notice that the Newsletter Preset is now listed in the Document Preset drop-down menu. What this does for me is that when I'm creating a brand new document and I want to base it on a previous preset, I simply choose New Document and pick my newsletter from the Document Preset drop-down menu. Very quick and easy. So I'm going to click OK and now you see that we have a brand new document that we can begin working with. I'm going to go to the Pages panel because we're going to be working with master pages and you'll notice that when you create a brand new document you're always given one master page called A Master that all of the pages in your document are going to be based on. Now what I'm going to do is I want to change the name of this master page. So I'm going to double click on that to make my master page active. And then to change the name I can hold down the Option key on my keyboard or the Alt key on my keyboard to display my master options. In the name field I'm simply going to type footer and when I click OK you can see that now the name has changed to reflect the name that I recently gave it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some auto page numbers to our document. So to begin I'm going to zoom in on the lower left corner of my left hand master page and using my type tool I'm going to click and drag to draw a text frame on my page. To insert an auto page number, I'm going to go to the Type menu, Insert Special Character, Markers, Current Page Number. What that will do is it will insert the letter A inside of that text frame, and it's using the letter A because it's based on the A master. Please don't think that you can simply type the letter A in this text box and have it work like an auto page number. It will not work. You have to insert the auto page number character using the method shown previously. I'm going to select this character and we're going to change the font to Myriad Pro bold and we'll make sure it's set to 12 point. And We can see that now our page number has been formatted and that's how the page number on all of our regular documents will appear. 